There are numerous foreign and domestic companies manufacturing and selling modular aluminum framing systems. They all employ the same basic T-slot fastening system. Using an oversized fastener, tightened to a high torque in an effort to keep assembled components from moving when external forces are applied. Note how the arrows, showing the points of contact, are all parallel, indicating the frictional force is in a single direction or plane. In static situations, this assembly may never experience an issue. However, in dynamic situations, the pivot points created by the fastening system allow for movement or slippage between components, causing misalignment and loosening of the fastener, compromising the assembly. In addition, the oversized fastener, torqued to specification, can measurably distort the profile well beyond the extrusion tolerances, pushing it outward and compounding misalignment. The key to correcting the issues with existing T-slot fastening systems is in eliminating all pivot points by creating a mechanical lock, first anchoring the nut in two planes into the V-shaped area of the extruded profile. As the fastener is tightened, the nut rotates up and locks into the opposite side, anchoring itself into a third plane. The upper bracket now slides into position and is precision aligned to the extruded profile, creating a fourth locking plane. And as the fastener is brought up to its required torque, the appropriately sized bolt stretches slightly. Friction is created in a fifth plane between the bracket and profile, and the entire assembly is pulled together to form the mechanical lock. Even when subjected to a large direct external force that attempts to separate the two attached components, the stretched bolt acts like a spring and keeps the assembly in precise alignment. Try that with existing aluminum framing systems.